Hi, I'm Randy Rogers. I'm engineering manager here at ICW USA, and I'm going to be going through the steps to installing our 28-inch Pro Slide under cabinet track uh, with a keyboard and monitor. So we're going to start this time with the track already mounted. Um, when when the track is mounted on the top of the cabinet, the top of the cabinets are typically uh, a lot more open. They're just a uh, they just have a flat top, and so in that situation. The, uh, the depth of the track from the front of the cabinet is a little more critical. When we're working under a cabinet, uh, there's usually a, a tighter space to work with, work inside of, and uh, pretty much to have the track as far back as possible is best. So um, we've 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 tried a template, and a template just doesn't really help. So the best way to do this is just hold the track up into place, take your pencil and mark the the, the eight holes and drill them through with your quarter inch drill bit and then uh, we do to get a uh, we, we prefer a through fastener so there's a screw and a furniture nut and so we'll, we'll show uh, the, the flush side of the screw on the inside of the cabinet so there's nothing protruding out into the cabinet. Okay as you can see the top of the, the flathead screw in here uh, it just takes a small countersink in, in the, the floor of the cabinet uh, to, to flush those screws out nice. With the track mounted, our next step is to hang the arm. Um, in the trolley, there's, there's four attaching bolt holes. Uh, we can start with the front two bolts uh, just started into their threads. The arm attaching plate has keyholes in it, so it makes it a little easier to Start these bolts on, slide them in place, and then you, your, your hands are free to install the other bolts. Tighten up all four now. Now it's time to attach the keyboard. Three quarter twenty flat head screws. And next. monitor. I already have the, the ball visa and half of the monitor mounting clamp attached to the monitor with the four visa screws here. Clamp has four bolts. I'm going to leave two out of them just for the experience of the video. Monitor height adjustment is based on cabinet clearance or, or user preference. In this case, I'm just going to leave enough room to, to fit my cable through here. Now we're ready to slip some cables through. So we know that we're going to have uh, 
two cables for the monitor. You want to start with the with the with the, with the largest connector. Drop it through. This takes at minimum an eight foot cable. Uh, might be a little bit better to have a 10 foot cable or 10 foot cables, I should say. And now, with those two routed, with the length of the cable necessary to run through the track, uh, you're gonna have to have USB extensions. And this is a little bit up to preference but a USB extension, the, the connection between the mouse cable and the keyboard cable and the USB extensions should be, I'm gonna just pass them through right here down to the bottom hole. Drop to here, come out here. So the connection between the keyboard and mouse and the extension should be somewhere either, either bundled under the foot here or it can be inside of the drop tube, maybe under the, the ultra arm. But what we don't want is the connection because it ends up not flexible. We don't want this connection past the ultra arm here. We don't want it in the area that needs to loop through the, the track. So I'm just going to leave the connection under here for now. There's a block under the foot for connecting the zip tie. So I'm going to zip tie those in place. All of these cables together sit so under the ultron. We have the wire, the cable cover here for the ultron. sides to route the cables through the track. To finish the cabling, I've, uh, I've started our loom onto the, the bundle of cables. Basically you want, you just want everything pretty straight. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just don't want it all wadded up inside of here and the cables all wrapped up around each other. So we're going to start that, we're going to finish this. It's just a split loom. It's a little tricky to find the rhythm, but we want the cables to all lay in there nice. Split should be all nice and straight. No kinks. Let it come out a little bit. One thing that I didn't point out. When I, when I ran the cables through the drop tube and through the ultra arms. You don't want anything bound up. You want everything to have a little slack so that when things move around, they have room to move without putting the cables in danger. So now we're gonna start with that loom about that far back on the cables. We're just gonna spin it up in place, up into the track. Leave a little bit of slack for the same reason we just discussed here. Slide that back just a little bit more. Now we 
have blocks here. We're going to wrap some zip ties around. One there. I'm going to move to the other side to do the other one. Definitely want the cable zip tied on both sides. We're going to use both blocks. And then to slide this all together. We want the loop where the cable loops around. We're going to slide all the way to this end. And then we want the, the, the cable to loop from one side to the other, just about in the vicinity of the, of the end of the track. I'm going to slide this up in here. I guess I. I forgot to mention, we want the loop, uh, so it, so the direction you loop the, the wires depends on where you want the, the cables to come out of this area. So we're going to go through this, the end of the cabinet on the left side, so we looped the wires to the left, to the left of the trolley, and they're passing to the other side of the, the track on the right side. So now we're going to slip up in here together. One thing I need to point out is that the, the cable comes up on the left side, so if the cable is going to go out of the cabinet on the left side, you want the cable to, to pass under the trolley from the left to the right. Loop the cable from the front side of the channel to the back side, and now the, the cables are going to run in the back side of the, of the track. We've got a little cable clamp here, and we just put just put hand pressure against. We're trying to pinch not just the, the loom, but the cables on the inside. Single Phillips screwdriver there. And we're gonna pass the ends of the cables through the bulkhead of the cabinet. Second clamp on the inside of the track here. Pressure. That's pretty much the installation. Now our cables run with our trolley. No loops hanging down. No binds, no kinks.